Uh, you could feel the sadness and the sympathy in the air. Many people who showing up at this memorial today bringing something to leave for Victoria Martins here at Mariposa Basin Park. It's a park that I'm told she used to love to come here and play. Happy birthday, dear Victoria. Happy birthday to you. Victoria's grandparents wishing they were celebrating instead of mourning. It would have been her 13th birthday, and instead we're coming here for a, a third year. And how it never gets easier. Never does, because you think about it every day. The memorial growing throughout the evening is people who knew and loved her talking about what they miss the most. She just filled you with love. She'd talk to you and she'd just light up your day. While the event brought together family and friends, it also connected some people impacted by the tragedy who had never met before. Like this woman who reached out on social media asking people to come here today and bring something for Victoria. Even though I didn't know Victoria personally, it really affected me deeply. I'm happy they're here, but I'm so sad they have to be. Two people, including Victoria's mother, taking plea deals and charges against the third person, Fabian Gonzalez, have yet to go to trial. It's the unknown fourth person in the case that bothers some people the most. Everybody that is guilty of it needs to be held responsible. This was a child. I mean, her life ended way too soon. One, two, three. Now, Victoria's grandparents bringing Victoria's ashes in an urn to the memorial ceremony today. And I asked him, why did you do that? And he said to let people know that she's with us now and she's safe. Reporting in West Albuquerque, Brandon Evans, KWT Action 7 News.